Hi everybody, we are live. All right, hi everyone. I'm Samantha Bell, again. Um, I was with you, if you tuned in on Monday, I was bottle feeding my foster kitten. Her name is Rosebud. And she's this cute little tiny baby kitten. And people enjoyed it, but you know what they enjoyed the most, I think, was in the background, um, my adult cat came in, he creeped in the background with his stuffed animal dog in his mouth. And he was just like hanging out with his stuffed dog in the background. And he got more attention than, than most of the videos. So we're back and we're actually, he's going to be in there in this video today, in this live. He's, he's sitting right next to me right now. He has no idea what's about to come. I'm petting him. You're going to see him in a minute. That's Johan. So today, so my last uh, Facebook Live was about bottle feeding my foster kitten. And today's Facebook Live is about this, is about clicker training cats. It is a thing and it's an awesome thing. And I wanna tell you about it, tell you why it's so important to clicker train your cats. I'm going to explain how to clicker train your cats. And I'm also going to clicker train my cats on Facebook Live. <laughs> Wish me luck with that. We shall see how that goes. Um, I've been clicker training cats for many years in shelters and in rescues and my cats too, but mostly shelter kitties. Um, and I'm going to tell you why I clicker train so many shelter kitties. Um, and uh, I want to get more people on board with clicker training cats. And it's not something that you need to be like an expert on to do. Anyone can do it. So I'm giving you the authority after watching this to just go ahead and click or train your cat. And um, don't don't think, oh, it's not for me. It's for everybody. So first I'm gonna tell you what clicker training is. Let's show a clicker. Here is a clicker. So clicker training is positive reinforcement training. So the cat does something or any animal does something that you like. You're going to click to mark that behavior at the exact moment that you like it, and then you're going to reward them. You can reward them in many different ways. But you just find what they like. So when they do something you like, you're going to click it, and then you're going to reward them. And it's one of the fastest ways to train animals. Um, it's The animal thinks, oh, when I do this, I get rewarded, so therefore I'm going to do it again. That's operant conditioning. Um, so why do we use a clicker? Why don't we just say, good job, and give them a treat? Or why don't we just, when they do it, give them a treat? We use the clicker for pre precision, and it marks the behavior. It's like a camera, so you think you've got your camera and you're trying to get that perfect moment, and that's when you, that's when you click, that's when you tap um, your camera. The click is just like a camera. You're gonna click at the exact moment. So the cat has no question in their mind what they're being rewarded for. It was the exact moment that they sat. Like, it, here's their little butt click right as it hits the ground. And so they hear that click and they associate, okay, whenever I hear a click, I get a treat. So then they know that when my butt hits the ground, I get a treat and that's classical conditioning. So classical conditioning is they hear the clicker and they get a treat. That's like Pavlov's dogs. Um, you know, they they hear the bell and they salivate because they know food is coming. Well, that's what we're doing. We're classically conditioning the cats. You hear a click, you're going to get a treat. You do your behavior, you get a click, then comes a treat. They're going to keep doing that behavior. It sounds complicated, but um, here comes Johan. He's ready to walk across my desk. Um, do you want to say hi? Here. Hello. I'm going to be in the video today. He's like, not yet. Look at my butt. Um, so who is clicker training for? Clicker training is for any person can do it with any animal. You can do it with fish, you can do it with giraffes, elephants, zoo animals. You can clicker train any animal. It's wonderful. It's positive reinforcement. Um, and cats are super easy to train, actually. You will find people are like, what? Cats are difficult. No, they're not. They're, they're so easy to train. Um, and why do you want to clicker train your cats? it's going to, you're going to bond with them. It's something that's really fun for them. They're using their brain and their body and they're figuring things out and they're getting rewarded. They're going to look at you as that source of fun and positive 
association with you too. So you're going to bond with your cats. It's enrichment for them, which all cats need enrichment. And um, you can also use it as behavior modification. If maybe a cat is shy, you can click or train them to reward them for being brave. So if you have a cat that's hiding under the bed, and every time it makes eye contact with you, you can click and give it a treat. So then that cat realizes when I'm looking at you, I'm getting rewards. Maybe then it'll shift its weight forward towards you. Then you click and give it a treat then, and you're rewarding them for brave behavior. So it's a way to help their behavior too. Or maybe you have a cat that is swatty or mouthy. What you're gonna do is you maybe put out your hand and when they touch your hand gently, then you click and reward them. And they're gonna realize when I interact with people, I am rewarded for interacting gently. So it's, it is it is amazing. And the number one reason to click or train is because it's fun. And I want you to remember that. It sounds very, oh, there's all this science behind it and you know behavior modification and all these words. Honestly, it's just really fun. So um, besides working for best friends, I also work for the Jackson Galaxy project, which is uh, a part of the greater, greatergood.org. And they have a program called Cat Positive. And I'm a trainer mentor for their Cat Positive program. I'm going to show you a little video. Um, and before I show you, before I tell you step by step how to train your cats, I'm going to show you a quick little video of other cats being clicker trained. Um, it's only, it's less than a minute long. So it's just super quick. And honestly, I wanted to show it to you on screen share, but with uh, Facebook Live, you can't share your screen. So I'm just going to have to show you on my iPad and hopefully you'll be able to see it. Um, it's not how I wanted to do it, but that's, you know, that's the way you have to do it with Facebook Live. So I'm gonna show you about a minute of cats that are part of the Cat Positive program and they're doing clicker training in their rescues and their shelters. And it's just, I just want you to see what it looks like before I explain it so that you have some frame of reference when I'm saying, you know, this is what you say, this is what you do. I want you to see it first. Um, so I'm gonna play it right now. Hopefully you'll be able to see. These are, there. Okay, so this little guy here has uh, lost one of his little feet. And so they're getting him to practice walking around and they're having him target to touch the ball and you hear click and then he gets his little reward. He is so cute. Okay, so this cat here, they have trouble getting her from room to room. So watch what they get. Watch what they do. They click a trainer to go in a basket. And then they carry her from room to room so that she doesn't bite them when they're carrying her. And she loves it. She thinks it's training. She's like, I get in my basket. Isn't that so smart? I think that's so brilliant. Is it pretty? And this little one, they just taught to sit pretty. It's so cute. Is it pretty? And you hear the click as right as they sit up. This one jumps through a hoop and you hear the click right as they land. All right. So those are some examples of cats being clicker trained. Um, so now you've seen it. You see that as that little cat sat up, the second it was like right as it sits up. So that's the marking the behavior right then. So I'm going to teach you how to clicker train your cats right now. It's going to be short and sweet. I could go in for hours and explain how to do this, but I'm going to do a quick, like short and sweet version of how to clicker train your cats. So the first thing you're going to do, figure out what your cat likes the most as a reward. So if your cat likes treats, which most cats like treats, put out a smorgasbord of treats, have all different kinds of treats, have um, sometimes like plain chicken baby food is the highest value reinforcer. Sometimes it's the chiru sticks. Um, so try putting out everything several times and let your cat pick what their favorite treat is because you want this to be the highest value reward for them so that they really enjoy this training. Um, and some cats also, as their reward, enjoy petting, and some cats also like playing. So when you click, you don't always have to give them 
a treat afterwards. And that's what makes this so portable and easy to do anywhere. So like I'll be sitting here and I don't have any treats with me at my desk and I'll look at Johan and I'll just say high five and he gives me a high five. I click and then I just give him a good pet. And to him, that pet is also a reward. But when you're first starting out, you want to do I would do the highest value treats like tuna, baby food, chiru, temptations, whatever your cat likes the most, start with that. And then the next thing you need to do after you figure out what they like the most is to get a clicker. So we sell these in the Best Friends online store and we sell cute orange ones that, you know, with the little Best Friends logo on them. You can get one, you can order them there. They're in stock right now. Or, and while you wait, you can get, you can just use, you can use a pen. So you can use a clicky pen while you're waiting for your best friend's clicker to come in. So I, I hesitate to do it because every time my cats hear a click, they should get a reward, but I'll just, so you see, it's a click. It's like a soft click. Um, so you want, you're going to get your favorite treats for your cat. You're going to get a clicker or a clicky pen until your clicker gets in. And also remember, um, you get cat clickers. These are cat clickers. They're also dog clickers that are a box clicker that have a, a strip of metal that's really hard. And those are really loud, which is good because when dogs are outside, you need to, them to hear it over all the noise outside. But those are too loud for cats. They scare them. And if this is too loud for cats, then go for the, then go for the clicky pen or take this and wrap it in a little towel when you click it to muffle the sound for the shy kitties because you don't want this to be scary at all. You, you just really want to, uh, to, um, to uh, sorry people, <laughs> I just got a message. Um, that's okay, uh, I try to focus, focus. Um, so then you wanna watch your cat. When you start out, you don't wanna start out with hey, let's jump through a hoop. You want to start out with clicking for natural behaviors. So a natural behavior would be sitting. So say you've got your clicker, you've got a treat, you just watch your cat. We call it capturing. And the cat's just walking around, doing its own thing. As soon as it sits down, click treat. As soon as its butt hits the ground, click treat. And they're like, wait a minute, what just happened? And then kind of, you know, lead them to get up and you know let them follow you or something and then they do it again as soon as their butt hits the ground click treat that's a great first one to start with eye contact and sit are because they're just natural things you're not asking the cat to do some crazy circus maneuver you're just saying just do what you always do and i'm going to reward you for it and now you're going to learn it so say we're going we're going to use sit as an example Your cat's walking around he sits you're going to click as his butt hits the ground give him a treat and then um, next time, next time, after about, I'd say four or five times, they, they get it. It clicks. <laughs> get it? It clicks. Um, and, then, uh, and then you start adding in what we call a cue. A cue is either a verbal or like a hand signal, but verbal is easier. So we're going to say after a couple times, when you notice your cat understands what's going on, as they sit, you're going to go sit and then click treat. And now they hear that word every time it happens. Then you're gonna start saying that word a little sooner. Like as they start to sit, you're gonna go sit and then click treat. And then pretty soon you'll be able to just walk up to them and go sit. And then they will sit and you give them a treat. And that's what we call mastered. Once you can look at a cat that's just doing its own thing, you say sit and the cat sits, that's mastery. And then you can move on to another behavior. When you are clicker training, you want to only do one new behavior per session. And here's also something that I forgot to tell you. When you're doing clicker training sessions, one minute, two minutes, maybe three minutes tops. This is not like a half hour, hour long session. This is just honestly just one minute. When I, when I click with my kitties with something new, you only want to do one or two minutes because that's a lot of brain power that they're using and you don't want them to get frustrated. You don't want to get them to get tired of it. You always want to leave them wanting more so that when they see that clicker comes out, come out, they're like, oh good, we're going to do something. Not, oh no, this thing again that lasts forever. So short and sweet, leave them wanting more, a minute or two, just one behavior per session. And, um, you know, we have all, I have actually all of these um, rules. We have uh, greatergood.org and Jackson Galaxy Project created two handouts that I'm going to link to after this. And one is clicker training basics. 
And another one is how to teach your cat to do a high five. And I can share those with you because right now I, I'm, I'm just giving you all this information verbally, but maybe you're also a visual learner and you want that sheet of paper that says these are the steps to do it. So um, I will add those in after this. So now I'm going to click or train my cats for you. I don't know if you can, I wish, can you see them right now? <laughs> they're, they're, they look like they're ready to go. Wish me luck because you never know what kind of mood cats are in. And if you start clicker training and they're not in the mood, you just stop. Just say, yeah, okay, we're gonna do it later. It's always gotta be positive and fun. And it's something that the cats wanna do. It's not about you. It's not when clicker training is convenient for you. It's when your cats are in the mood. This is all about them, giving them the power of choice of like, I'm just doing my own thing and I'm getting rewarded for it. That makes them feel really, really good. So I have three cats. You're going to see all three of them, hopefully. There's Johan, who you can see right there, who is orange with the white paws. Johan, white paws. And then there's, and he's the one that has his dog stuffed animal that was in the Facebook Live on Monday. Then there's Desmond, who is another orange boy. And um, Desmond's a little shy. He's... When it's just he and I, like, he's wonderful, but he's one of those cats that sometimes hides when people come over and, and he gets easily, you know, nervous. And um, today it's kind of warm in L.A., so I put on the air conditioning for a moment, and the air conditioning made the ceiling fan right there start spinning, just the air made it go, and he is completely terrified of ceiling fans. And the ceiling fan has not been on all winter. So the ceiling fan went on and I was like, oh God, and I quickly turned it off and stopped it. But it kind of, you know, like that could have ruined his mood for the day. You know how they are. So ceiling fan went on. So bless little Desmond's heart. We might see him, we might not. Um, and then Packard is my third kitty. You saw him in the Rosebud video too. He is a large gray whale. He is this huge gray and white cat and he has special needs. He's deaf and um, he has some, some issues, some neuro neurologic issues, some learning issues. He, he had a rough childhood and uh, he's amazing, but his uh, clicker training skills are not as high as the other two. One, because, you know, he's just slower. So he can sit and he can high five. So you'll see Packard do those and you should be very proud of him because that's a big deal for him to be able to do those. Um, we're gonna start, so I'm gonna show you the cats doing sit, sit up, high five. We're going to jump through a hoop, maybe <laughs> if they feel like it, the orange ones, not, not the big gray whale. Um, and then also I'm going to, I'm going to show you them targeting this. So this is a piece of paper and I, I want them to touch the yellow dot on it because I'm going to transfer that behavior to ring the bell and get them. Oh, it's because I'm holding it get them to ring the bell, just so you see those cats are doing it. So right now, our first step is getting them to target this, and then we'll transfer it to get them to target that. So I'm gonna bring this over so you can see them um, tapping the paper too. Um, so usually, ideally, you do one behavior per session with one cat. Maybe put the other ones in another room, maybe take the one, but we're gonna try a bunch of behaviors with three cats. So this should be a circus. So I'm going to, let's see. I'm going to move over back there and see which kitties want to join me. Let me move my chair because the chair is in the way. Okay. Get a good little area. Okay, there's there's a little area for training right there. Um, I'm going to tilt it down so you can see. And we're going to go over here and we're going to see which kitties. You see the big gray whale? Which kitties want to train? Okay, I have, can you see me? I have um, the Cheru stick. That's what we're using as our reinforcer today. Cut the top off of it. We've got Cheru. We've got a clicker. I don't know if you can see Johan. He's already sitting up because he knows something's happening. So come over here, guys. You see them all? Yes, okay. So watch this, sit. Who's gonna sit? Sit. And then it gets a little bit, that's Packard, that's the special one. Okay, Desmond, high five. Okay, Johan, high five, wait, high five. And they get, at the first like sip of the treat, they're like, what is this, do I like this? Okay, Desmond, sit up, 
it up. Good boy. Now watch, Packard's gonna high five. High five? I promise. High five? You will. High five? Just like this, bud. Like this. High five? There he goes. Such a good boy. Now, Johan, sit up. Look at that. Johan does such a good sit up. He loves sit up. Sit up. Good. Now, Johan, do, we're going to ask Johan to do, oh, Packard, high five. Oh, it's so cute. I hope you can see that. I know the camera is like kind of far away. High five. Good. Ready? See, I forgot to click on that one. Nobody's perfect. He's perfect. I forgot the click. We speak for it. I feel like I'm not sure you can see me. Desmond, sit. Oh, he gets very excited. He's like a bear. Just see him as high, high, high. Okay. High five. And I click right as his paw touches. High five. He's like, give it to me. Give it to me. Johan, high five. Sit. That was more of a sit up. Like technically I shouldn't have clicked for that, but like yeah, he's, he's cute. Like I said, no, he's perfect. High five. High five. And now we're gonna do, we're gonna see if anybody will jump through the hoop for us, okay? High five. Oh, that was such a good high five, buddy. All right, now let's see this. This is fun. So the orange ones do it, the gray one does not. So we're gonna see if Desmond, come here. Come here, Desmond. Good boy. Johan? So I'm kind of luring them through. I'm showing them the treat through it. Good boy, yay. So when they see the treat through it, they jump through it. So ready, Desmond? Come on. No, he went around. He thinks he's smart, but he doesn't get clicked for that. Oh, two at once. Yeah, I'm so glad I got that on video. And you notice the chunky, chunky kid in the back that just sits and watches. He, he doesn't want to burn any calories. Come on, through the hoop. Through the hoop. Good boy. He's the best at through the hoop. He's also the most treat motivated. So like this treat really motivates him. Through the hoop. Still counts. Still counts. He couldn't really jump because there was a, another cat in his way. Come on through, guys. Good boy. And then one more, Johan. Come on through, Yo-Yo. Come on. Come on through. Good boy. So those are through the hoop. So now they've done sit, sit up, high five through the hoop. And now we're going to see um, who's going to touch, touch the paper. They, they know this one. Look how pushy, look how pushy he is. And I say touch, that's the cue for this one. Touch. Come on, Yo-Yo. Touch. So Johan, touch, there's touch. He's, these cats are so smart. All cats are this smart. You can do this, everybody can do this. Okay, touch. Oh, two at once. Who gets it first? Let's move it over here. So just Desmond. Touch. Touch. <laughs> Cute. So there, you get the idea. There's some cats being clicker trained. I'm glad that went better than I thought it would get. <laughs> Coming back. All right. Let me put it back up. So that was clicker training. They do something, you click at the moment that it, that you like what they do, and then you give them a reward. And that Chiru, Inaba Chiru, huge, huge motivator for them. They will do anything for this. So just a couple tips um, before I take questions. Um, one tip is, well, it's not even a tip. It's the most important rule, I would say. Never force a cat to do anything when clicker training when not like anyone can clicker train and you really can't mess it up 
you, I mean, because you mess it up, it doesn't matter. The only way you could actually really mess it up is by forcing your cat to do something, like forcing them to look at you or forcing them through that hoop. That is not positive reinforcement training. You let them do what they want to do and you reward what you like. If they do something that you don't like, you ignore it. If they do something wrong, you ignore it. And sometimes you will accidentally click when they did something wrong, still give them that treat anyway, because they have to know that a click means a treat is coming. Um, so make, uh, what else did I gonna say? Um, I think that's it. Just have fun and, and really, really in, just enjoy yourself. You're going to be awkward at first, honestly, when you first start clicker trading, it's going to be, you're going to be like, wait, what hand do I hold the clicker and the pen and all these different things? So just know that everyone's awkward at first. Um, and, and don't worry about it. I'm going to look at the questions to see if there are any. Good job. Hello, Johan. Love Jackson. Yes, we love Jackson Galaxy. Jackson is amazing. He's the king of clicker training. He started clicker training cats in shelters years before anyone else was clicker training. He found that he could get the cats to just gain so much confidence by clicker training them. It was mainly just for dogs back then, but he has really gotten clicker training to be a thing. And um, I would suggest if you want to learn more about clicker training, look, he has some articles up on it, but also Karen Pryor, uh, great clicker training for dogs and for cats. So if you want to Google Karen Pryor, there are some videos for her too. Hi from Garland, Texas. Hello, Mary. Uh, big hugs from Denver. You guys are so nice. I wish I would have watched these as I was going along, but I was trying to focus and get all the info in. Definitely going to try this with my next batch of foster kitties. Yes, you can do this with kittens. As long as a cat likes something, shows interest in something, you can click or train them. If they like treats, you can click or train them. Whatever, if they like playing a lot of times for kittens, like a little mouse just moving it around, you, after you click, that they like that just as much too. So yes, you can click or train kittens as young as, I would say like six weeks, you can get them started. And you know what's great to train kittens to do? To go into a carrier. Click or train them, like lead them into a carrier because that is a skill they will carry with them through their life and make them so adoptable, easy to get them to the vet. It's just getting a cat and a carrier, start them as kittens, click or train that. Um, thank you for showing clicking. Of course, yay, got to get a clicker. Good, good, good. Um, Flo loves that I'm loving to my cats. Oh my gosh, Flo, thank you. I love my cats so much. Um, feed the kitten, you waited too long the other day. Um, so <laughs> the other day, I had just fed the kitten an hour before that session. So she wasn't hungry because usually you feed them every three to four hours. So the kitten wasn't hungry. That's why I wasn't in such a rush to feed her immediately. Um, Meredith says she started clicker training her cat the other day. Good job, Meredith. I can't wait to see. Uh, where did I get my cute shirt? This is a best friend shirt. It's got all kinds of facts about cats on there and it's got our logo on the back of it. So it is a best friend shirt. Um, I'm not sure if it's still for sale, but hopefully. Um, Jennifer asks, when are you supposed to click as they're already making an effort to get the treat, already going through the hoop or touching the paper? So yeah, that can make it tough when you have multiple ones and they're doing things. You just want to think, think of the click as a camera. So for the hoop, the thing I'm clicking for is jumping through the hoop. So when they hit the ground, when the fourth paw hits the ground, that's when I click. When it's touching the paper, it's as the, as the paw actually touches the paper, not going toward it, not after it. It's the actual moment. And, and you learn precision and you have to be precise with it, but you'll, you'll get there. Um, one to three minutes once a day. Sure, you could do one to three minutes four times a day if you like. You can do it as many times as you want per day, just as long as the sessions are short. You can do three sessions a day. That's great. I do that with mine, like especially leading up to this since I knew I was going to be doing this like yesterday and the day before I was like, OK, let's do this. We did it three times a day. 
Um, does age matter? Nope. You can train kittens and you can train seniors. Oh, I love training seniors too. You would not want to train a senior to jump through a hoop because that's not species specific age appropriate because that doesn't feel good for them to jump through a hoop with a senior you're just going to want to train like um you could train really cute things like spin in a circle spin in a circle is really cute or you know high five just different things like that think about the cat and what is appropriate for them um can older cats learn this yep and i think that's it I think those are all the questions. Oh my gosh, this was 30 minutes long. Thank you for everyone who has stayed for the whole 30 minutes. I wasn't thinking it would be this long, but it's been so much fun. Um, I appreciate you all so much for watching, for caring about your cats so much that you want to learn these things. Thank you. And thank you for tuning in. And I'm going to add the link to the greatergood.org documents that are about clicker training. I'll add that in a few minutes. Um, after I go feed the baby again. And everyone, I would love for you to clicker train your cats because clicker training cats makes them happier. Happier cats have less behavior and health problems. Happier cats aren't sent to shelters for behavior and health problems. So by making your cats happy, you're keeping more cats out of shelters and you're helping to save them also. You can save them all just one click at a time. and. And that is about it for me today. Thank you so much. Sorry this was so long. Um, stay safe. Stay healthy. Wash your hands. Wash your paws. Uh, the kitties need you. And that is it for me. I will answer any questions that you, um, for people that watch this later, I'll answer questions. But thank you. Keep clicking your kitties. Have a great day. Bye.